In this video, we will use the iView Developer HMI software to build a simple project to control a tough drive TD400 VFD. The HMI application will be built and downloaded to an iView HMI. This project demonstrates basic functionality to control the VFD. No safety features are built into this example. Start iDeveloper from the iMo program group. From the file menu, start a new project. Name the project. Click Next. Name the application. Select the HMI display size. Leave the orientation set to Landscape. Select the model number of the HMI being used. The resolution for the selected HMI is shown. Click Next to select the link. This is the driver setup. Give the link an intuitive name if desired. The link type will be DirectCom. The device server is Modicon. The TD400 VFD has been set up for Modbus RTU protocol. Select Device Slave 6-Digit Addressing. The HMI's RS-485 port is COM4. Click Next. The transmission parameters are set to match that of the TD400. The VFD node address is set to 1. This is shown as the PLC address. Leave all other parameters at default. Click Finish. From the Object menu, select Bit Button and place on the screen. We are using a basic button object. Double click the button to open the setup window. For this example, set the off color to red and the on color to green. For the label text, select a font and size. The button action will be an invert or toggle on, toggle off. To assign the right address, select the TD400 link. The address will be node 1 and bit of word address 409474bit0. This is the run stop bit address in the TD400. Click Enter. Click OK. From the object menu, select a numeric entry object in place. 409475 is the frequency command address. Click Enter. The VFD's frequency command is four digits with a two decimal precision. Select leading zeros and the desired font. Click OK and size the object accordingly. Place a numeric display for the operating frequency and set up. The VFD address is 409509. Save the project. From the panel menu, compile the project. The progress will be shown. Go back to the panel menu and select Download. We are using the USB port for project download. Click Start and the download progress will be shown. Click Close after completion. The HMI will restart and begin communicating with the VFD. This concludes the building and downloading of a simple control project with iView Developer software. For application notes and videos on the IMO iView HMIs, visit our knowledge base.